Hello, beautiful souls. It's Jane. Delighted to be here with you today. And today I'm going to share a message from my love note that I put out today that's very hopeful and very positive about where we are right now. And the reason I decided to share it is because today I also received a message in my email box from Patricia Cota Robles talking about our 12 strands of DNA being reactivated. And I feel that the positivity of my love note was probably connected to that. So I'm going to ask the Elohim to come in in this message and I'm going to ask them specifically about that. The activation of our 12 strands of DNA and then I will bring through some light language as well to assist us in integrating this information and really accepting that this shift is happening. So stay tuned and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so I see the light is changing. The light is starting to come in my window. Here is the love note and I will put a link to my website if you want to be able to read this. Some people feel like they get more information when they actually read something. I'm just going to pull myself back a little bit here and see if this helps. So I will put a link if you would like to read it and also just to let you know that my love notes I'm offering for free right now while we're going through this pandemic and everybody's so isolated. They are memes that I create and then channeled messages with everyone and I put them out five days a week and people have written me. I've only had them up for a week now, a full week, and I've received so much feedback from people that it's really helping them move through these times and giving them inspiration and hope and lifting their spirits. So just to let you know, if you want to sign up, just go to my website and in a moment the pop-up will come up where you can sign up for my list and you will start receiving the love notes. So I'm offering that right now as a gift. So here's the one that had this very encouraging message from the Council of Nine. So here's what they said. I, I brought this through yesterday. And so it is, beloveds, we come before you this day in great joy and delight. For we see before us the kings and queens of this grand game of earth. And we say to you, gracious ones, you are finding your way. You are finding your way out of the darkness of the ages past and back into the light of your true essence upon this planet earth. Oh, grand has been the game you have played here. And for eons of time, you have been tossed and moved about like rooks on a chessboard. And now, oh now, everything is about to change. Are you ready? Are you ready to be magnificent? Why not? Prepare yourselves, dear one, for the time of playing small has passed. The time of believing in limitation and separation is behind you. See the light of the new dawn that is awakening, and rejoice in the new day. You are the creators of it, beloveds. Do well. Believe in yourselves. Dance in the light of the new day as the sun rises once again. A new world is upon you. Rise up and be all that you have come to be, for the world needs your pure light. And so it is. We are the Council of Nine in service to all humanity. So again, you can read that on my website if you retain more when you read, if you're more of a visual learner and want to have that experience. And so that came through yesterday. And then this morning, Patricia Cota Robles, which I'll put a, a link below as well to her video. Once a week, she puts out a video and she's been doing work for 30 years now, I think, bringing through the higher beings of light and messages of light. And today, what she brought through was an activation for the 12 strands of DNA saying that humanity now 
is activating this, that we are rising fully into the fifth dimension, and that we have this opportunity to have all the strands of our DNA fully activated. And this is quite a profound time, and it can be almost hard to believe that this is really true, you know, that we are ready to come back into our more empowered state of being human upon this earth. And so I thought today, when I call in the Elohim, I will ask them about this 12 strands of DNA, DNA being fully activated, and also anything else that they want to contribute about COVID-19 and how people are doing through that, or what we can be doing to support ourselves and each other through that. So I will bring them in now, and we will see what they have to offer. And so it is, beloveds. It is our deepest joy and delight to be before you. And indeed, we say that for most of humanity, much has changed in your experience. There are still those who insist on holding on to the dense patterns of the past, insist on being in control, you could say, and therefore, that state of wanting control and managing from the personality self, we would say, then blocks out the potentials of the higher vibration energies that are available to you at this time because they are in their need for control, not allowing these new energies to flow in. So we would say that this opportunity that this one has expressed this day is available for everyone, but not everyone will choose to receive it. And of course, that is part of the free will and the options that you have as humans to be, in some way, the creators of your own fate, your own destiny, we could say, by the choices that you make. However, there are many who are not consciously aware that that is that this is happening, and yet it is still happening for them because the light workers are doing it on behalf of those who have a pure heart and want to be of service to humanity and to the earth and who are ready to grow and evolve into their highest level of being. And so there are many, many, many who are completely unconscious and yet receiving the benefit as the many light workers around the planet invoke these opportunities of expansion and growth on behalf of all humanity. So as humans who serve the light invoke, for example, the 12 strands of DNA being fully activated at this time, then it is not something that is pushed on to others. It is then the opportunity of the individual soul essence to choose whether to receive that activation or not. So even though the light workers are doing this on behalf of all, humanity do not think that it's a given or in any way it's um, pushing an agenda of one above another, for it is always a matter of choice whether the individual souls, the human beings on your earth, choose to accept the opportunity of what is being anchored in by those who are consciously doing so. And so we would like to speak to you about what it will mean to have these um, strands of your DNA fully activated. And this is the exciting part, beloveds. This is where everything changes. This is what the Council of Nine were seeing in the message that this one just read to you, that the time of your magnificence then is upon you, where you wake up. You are no longer hidden behind the veil and the truth of what it is to be a fully embodied human with with all of your DNA activated will start to show itself to you. And in that, you will be more telepathic. You will have a connection with 
all the memories of anything that you have ever lived. You will be able to visit the Akash and retrieve any information that you would like to have. There will still be learning. There will still be schooling, we could say, in teaching yourselves how to become all that you have the potential to be. And yet, the restrictions that have held you from being able to do that training or being able to achieve telepathy and higher understanding and a full divine connection and communication with the all that is, with your higher self and the beings of light who serve the creator of all that is, who uh, have been watching over you all this time and so ready to have this higher level of communication with you, all of this is going to be opening up more and more now. You will see more and more people awakening. Some, especially the younger ones, having what you could call instant awakenings, a deeper level of awareness. However, we would also say that maturity and evolution of the soul still factors into this. People can wake up without having the maturity of knowing what to do with that or delivering their skills with care and compassion. So there is a maturity that comes with age and with experience that leads to a graciousness. So we would say that this one learned many, many years ago, a channel that she was very excited to meet and and certainly did meet and realize that just because this person had the ability to channel a high being of light didn't mean that the individual who was doing the channeling was more evolved than this one was with her, you could say, her soul presence, her, her ethics, her way of being, her love and compassion. So we bring this up so that you will know that it still requires maturity and growth and discernment for all of you as this begins to unfold. However, the exciting piece is that these abilities now will become more readily available to you and the restrictions that have held you from full awareness are now shifting and changing. It will take time for humanity to really discover what this is, what it means, how it feels, how it expresses itself in your daily experience. However, we are delighted and excited to share with you that indeed this opportunity is now available. And so this link to Patricia Cota Robles video, we would invite you to watch it and to listen to it many times to do the activation to activate those 12 strands of DNA for yourself and for others who are open and willing to receive, whether consciously or unconsciously, do it on behalf of humanity, for as we expressed, those with whom it's not appropriate for them to receive it will simply not reach out and take it. So you need not worry about projecting your agenda onto others with this. So we invite now the next question that this one has for us. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you very much for that message. And now I'm just wondering if there's anything that you want to share with people about um, COVID-19 and the restrictions that are being placed on people. For example, my son who lives in Nova Scotia on the eastern coast of Canada is having a different experience than I am having here on the west coast, whereas they're not allowed to travel together, for example, car sharing to go to work. Um, they are being very restricted to their homes more than we are here, even though this is being asked for us. And BC is flattening the curve because people are really listening. But for some people, it's challenging what is being asked of them right now. And so I am wondering if you have any advice for people and any insight into the bigger picture of what this means for humanity to all be going through this experience at the same time and opportunities that individuals could be taking advantage of in this time. Indeed, beloveds, we are 
happy to address these concerns and these conditions that are placed upon you. We would say to you that it indeed, indeed is a time of great potential for great growth of humanity, and this is happening. And even this timing for the potential for the 12 strands of DNA to be activated is in relation to this humanity being in lockdown, you could say, having to be more quiet and still in the world and having this opportunity to do the internal work. So the first thing that we would like to express is that this time is a grand opportunity to do the internal work. And beloveds, we want you to know, we are going to pause and let this one share with you uh, for a moment an experience of doing internal work that she had just in the last couple of days. Because even one such as this channel who has been devotely dedicated to doing her internal work since the year 2012, starting in January, a full dedication, there is still much to be uncovered. So we will allow her to share this now. Okay, what they're wanting me to share is, I have a friend who I appreciate so much because she can tune into my patterns of moving above what are patterns in my life that would serve me well to change. She can see when I'm trying to walk around them, hop over them, dig my way underneath them and tunnel anything but go through them. And I have said to her before, I say to my friends, please, if you see things in me that I'm not seeing, I want to know what they are. I want to do the work and move through them because that's the way to ascension. That's the way to internal peace and joy and seeing my life change in the way I want it to change. So she said to me two or three days ago that she was seeing something and it took a little convincing for me. I thought, okay, maybe this is true. I'll listen just in case it's true. And, you know, by the time we talked about it for a while, I thought, okay, yes, there is some truth here. And I have another friend. She and I do exchanges for each other. When she needs support, I, I do my work with her. And when I need support, she does hers with me. And I'm so grateful for her because she's very skilled and she can dig in because after doing this work for so long, it's been eight years since 2012 and really like seriously doing this work. Uh, I, I'm getting to the really, really deep stuff that can be harder to see and she's able to find it for me. So we did this clearing about where limitations were modeled for me in my childhood and it was very deep and it brought up one piece where she wanted me to express just to imagine that I was saying to people from my childhood, you know, about how this wasn't okay and I couldn't do it. And she said, okay, we'll just make a sound. And as soon as she said that, I started to cry. I was terrified even to make a sound. So I know there's more there. We, we didn't go into that piece because we had already done quite a bit. And this was the day before yesterday. Yesterday, I was completely wiped. My physical body could do nothing. I slept solidly from 10 o'clock till 8 in the morning and then had to have a nap at 11. It's a lot of work to change because your physical cells are changing their memory. They're releasing that memory and, and changing. And it takes a lot of work in the physical. But I think they wanted me to share this so that everyone will know that we might think we're doing fine and we've cleared everything. But the deeply buried stuff really can trick us and fool us. So it's really helpful if you have other people who are open to this kind of work, whom you can say, please show me where you think I might have some limitation, some pattern that's holding me back in my life. Please help me to see that. And then, you know, it takes great vulnerability and courage to go in and clear that and change that. But we have to go through it. That's what the guides are saying. And in time, I will be able to support you with it right now because there's so many people at home on the internet with this COVID-19. My internet is unstable and I can't do sessions right now. I am planning to move, but until that happens, I'm in the woods. And so our reception can be 
quite um, unreliable at times, and especially now. Um, so I will go back to the Elohim and see what they want to uh, continue with this. Indeed, beloveds, yes, these pieces can be deeply buried. And as you are in this time of isolation, if you can allow yourselves not to be busied with your internet, your screens, your distractions. Allow yourself even three days of just being completely with yourself and see what comes up. It's a grand opportunity to, as this one said, have the courage to be deeply vulnerable, to go into the pieces of yourself that you created as protection as a child that no longer serve you. This one has said before, the fear of going into it is like the fear of death because these patterns were created as protection in your childhood. You felt like you needed to, for example, this one not having a voice, she felt like she had to shut down her voice to survive because when she voiced things, it wasn't well received. She wouldn't receive love or she was threatened about voicing things, that there would be consequences. So she had to shut down her voice. And so now the idea of having a voice to the people who brought these things about is absolutely terrifying, as if she would die. So we want you to know this is why it stays so deeply buried, so hidden. And this is why it takes due diligence on your part to move through it. And yet, beloveds, we want you to know it is part of this cycle. However, having said that, now that you are moving in this opportunity to have the, the 12 strands of your DNA activated, this will become easier and easier and things will simply pass through like water running through a sieve. And so, it is a combination of how quickly you allow yourself to activate those strands of DNA and change, and perhaps some of this exploring is required before you are fully able to do that. So we would suggest taking time and meditation with yourself to see what needs to be done, to find your own internal guidance around this. As far as other aspects of people managing through COVID-19, we would say that Everyone is having their own unique experience in service to their highest good. So whatever people are experiencing, it is serving to bring up those old patterns, to bring up those beliefs that are no longer um, supporting your growth and development and that are holding you back. So whatever it is that you are finding difficult and challenging, that is your first step in knowing where to go to look for these patterns that are ready to be released for the soul chooses growth above all else. It doesn't always look happy and pretty and sweet and joyful, but the soul knows that you came here for growth and development to grow a new earth, to grow yourself personally. So this is certainly a unique time because you are here not only for your own personal evolution, but for the evolution of humanity and Mother Earth and all life upon her at this time. So it is a grand time. And then add to that this COVID-19 experience that you are having with the whole world at once experiencing this shutdown. Can you see how this relates to then the whole world growing and expanding at the same time? No one is left behind. And this is what you wanted, beloveds. And many have spoken of this, but could you ever have imagined that it would look like this? Do you realize that in this pandemic and the shutdown that has come from it, that no one is left behind? Let yourselves think about that. There is great spiritual significance to that, beloveds. And we are delighted to have this opportunity to bring this forward to you. So, we would say, there is much information here already. Much for you to 
think about and we would invite you to give serious thought and consideration and process to what has come forward in this video for your own personal evolution and for the evolution of all life upon this planet at this time. We will leave now to allow this one to bring through the beautiful light language that will help to activate those 12 strands of DNA within you and to allow you to receive the message with an open heart without the restrictions of the mind that might want to tell you it is impossible or it is folly. So we leave you now, beloveds, with deep appreciation to this channel for allowing us to speak through her and deep privilege, beloveds, at the opportunity to stand before you this day and share and express all that we have in the energy of love and light in the energy of growth and expansion and the energy of evolution for all life upon this sacred and blessed planet Earth. We are the Elohim in service to the all that is. And my deep thanks to the Elohim for being present for that beautiful message. Okay, I will call upon the Ancient Ones now to speak to us with light language to activate and open the potential for the activation of these 12 strands of DNA within us. Umaklaha ich kna wa ik na awa e. Imakchikahi kakla ich kna awa ini. Imaktaka kich na awa e o ala awa e makai. Utataki ich kna a. Mikla awa e e kanai. Utaka kach na ik ma awa e ik na awa e. Imakla e ich kna awa e ik na it. Imachka ikwa atlawa e ich knayo imakna ich kna atwa e ich knay ikma Hutkatka ich kna atwa e ik imakla ich kna atwa e ikai o tika o tika atwa e ni to just sit in this language of light to allow ourselves the very essence of our being to receive this resonance this frequency of light they were showing me the activation of the pineal gland it opening up in a burst of light, that activation moving down to the heart, doing some reprogramming in the heart, anchoring it down to the seed cell within our perineum, and awakening that seed cell as well. It is done. 
And so to the ancient ones I give my deepest thanks and appreciation for this initiation into the light, into the activation of our 12 strands of DNA. And to you, my beloved friends of light, I so appreciate you being present, bringing your love light energy into this activation and receiving this message and allowing it to rest upon your heart. And I invite you to support my channel by liking, subscribing, sharing, and also I'll put the links below to the love notes if you would like to start receiving those and also to Patricia Cota Robles video that you can watch and just to express my deep thanks and appreciation to be here with you in these amazing times. What a blessed time we are in, even though it looks like nothing we've never ever experienced before. How could it really? Because it's something totally new, not just COVID-19, but everything that we're going through. So, so glad we're here together. So much love to you all.